Good Saturday morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? Today, there's no football. The Florida Elite Association Football and Cheerleading decided to cancel all the games to let people clean up and for them to check all the fields out. So today is an off day. A bye week, whatever you want to call it. Today, I am burning. See this right here? I am burning my brush. We have prom prongs down, front yard, backyard, side yard, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm cutting them up in small pieces, burning them, and picking up, burn what I can before it rains. We do have some showers and thunderstorms coming. Not an all day rain, but on and off. So I'm trying to burn what I can. There's a lot of damage done, especially on the coastlines and the downtown areas here in the Tampa Bay area. They have not seen flooding like this and storm surge ever. I mean, probably back in the 1920s. But since they've been keeping records, they have not had storm surge damage like that. They are still rescuing people in attics and roofs along the beaches. Treasure Island, St. Pete Beach, Madeira Beach. Folks, if they tell you to get out, get out. Don't stay. Get out. Last I heard, I think it was nine people that died in Pinellas County. Most of them from drownings. Yes. People come to here and vacation on the beaches. People move here. People live on the beaches. But please, when they tell you to evacuate, get out. It's not worth your life. Grab your valuables, wedding pictures, paperwork, birth certificates, all that stuff. The next time they say evacuate zone A or any zone, A, B, C, D, get out. It's not worth your life. All these people who were calling overnight, I heard yesterday that the sheriff said that they had over 5,000 rescue calls Thursday night. 5,000 rescue calls. They don't get that many in a year. Because people did not evacuate Zone A. If you were on the beach or on a low line area that floods constantly, you were told to get out. And a lot of them didn't. Please listen to them. You're putting the first responders' lives in jeopardy, too. They got to come out there in those floodwaters and rescue you. And what if there's a power line down? I've only heard of one first responder get hurt. I didn't know hear why he got hurt. So today, I'm cleaning up my mess as I can. There is massive damage up and down the coastline. I've heard of the Waffle House on Treasure Island. That is only three and a half miles away from me. The water was over top of the roof. I heard that the one in St. Pete Beach, all the windows and doors got blown out. So I am putting this stuff here that I just topped up a little bit onto the fire. I'm gonna go out front and grab some more, grab some more uh, prom prongs and chop them up. But there is massive damage. Everywhere you look up and down the beaches. The beaches ain't open yet. Probably won't be open. People are still in shelter in the schools. So who knows if the schools are going to be open. So, I have a lot. I have some pictures that people sent me. Or they say, hey, you can take these off my Facebook. And put it on your YouTube. So I'm going to show you some of the damage. Of St. Pete Beach. Madeira Beach, Treasure Island. It's not a lot. I could spend hours on YouTube taking pictures or hours on Facebook taking pictures of the damage, screenshotting them, putting my video. I got too much to do to do that. I do got some of the people sent me. I do got a couple. They said, hey, take these off my Facebook page if you want, put them on my YouTube channel. I just want to show you some of the damage that I did here in Pinellas County. And there's damage all up and down the coast. There's damage downtown St. Pete, Tampa, everywhere. Where they told you to evacuate and they didn't, they are damaged. And you know, even England, even Charlie Mounds, England, trees down. I got trees down. I live that way, three and a half miles to the beach. That way, four and a half miles from the beach. We had no flooding here, but we had trees down. So I am going to put these pictures in here in this video to show you some damage 
and I hope that you are watching here in the Oak area and you're in an evacuation zone and you didn't evacuate this time, please do next time. If you're watching this outside of Florida, away from the storm surge area, tell your family members, friends, get out next time. Don't stay. You can replace your house. You can replace anything. You cannot replace your life. Some people didn't get out because they couldn't take their pets. There are pet friendly shelters here in Pinellas County. I think every county has to have a pet a uh, shelter that you can take your pets. There's no excuse, man. People are still on the roofs. It is Saturday morning, 10 12. They are still making roof rescues, attic refuges. The hurricane hit Thursday night. Saturday morning, they are still rescuing people. Stop. Get out when the government tells you. If it doesn't come, it didn't come. Yes, it's a pain in the butt to pack up, get everybody out, find a place to go. But I think you'd rather be safe than sorry. So here's some pictures of some damages here in Pinellas County. It's not all the pictures. It's just some of the ones I was sent or I could grab. I'm going to clean my yard up today. Y'all have a great weekend. As always, if you like what you're doing, keep doing it. If you don't like what you're doing, it change it. If you're doing your own business, keep growing, keep making money. Until the next video, have a great weekend and a safe weekend. Volunteer to help if you can to help somebody clean up.